started a program called F100 in response to the concerns about people being able to have access to food during this pandemic. But the truth is we've been doing this kind of program since I became the MP. Uh, we've identified a, a list of persons who are the most needy in the constituency, and we've been able to reach them. The F100 stands for 100 families, um, and it's our intention to, to have reached 100 families, which we surpassed. And we're aiming to reach 1,000 families to be able to ensure that they can eat during this, this period of time. What's included in the hampers? Um, so the hampers have been a number of things. We want to make sure people had access to starches. So you will see we'd include rice, we include pastas, we included potatoes in some instances. We want to ensure people had access to protein. So we had chicken and fish, uh, fresh chicken, fresh fish, sometimes frozen, um, canned foods as well. We also gave people oranges and other fruits. We want to give people a balance, a balanced meal during the course of the, the pandemic. The hampers are meant to be able to feed a whole family for at least two weeks. We had a list of the most vulnerable, but the truth is now everybody's vulnerable. And in a way, this pandemic has made almost, I wouldn't say irrelevant, but less useful the list that we originally had. Because there are a number of people who are now passing through um, poverty, passing through hardships, who would not have originally been on our list. So the list has expanded. For the most part, almost half of my constituency easily. Many have lost their jobs. Many are working and haven't been paid. There are some people who we're hoping to be able to access NAS only to find out that their employers never paid NAS for them. So there are a number of issues that we are hoping to deal with. So the way that we've chosen, we had our original list, but because I know most of my people personally, there have been cases where we've been to certain communities and other people would come out and say, look, uh, Minister, I, I also need help. So the list has expanded and it continues to grow. The other thing is that this can be a one-off. It can be a case where I say, two weeks ago, I took care of a, a particular household and there's no income in that house. There's no food coming back into the house. This has to be an ongoing, consistent um, response. And so that's where we are. It's not even about the numbers now, you know? I know these people by name. I know where they live. I know their stories. So it's really about understanding people's stories and just trying to be able to help my friends, because they all know my friends and my constituents in a way that, that I realize that we have now to change and help these people. So. That's what it is about now. Overall, I think Corporate Barbados has been very supportive of the, the idea. And it is through them that we've been able to reach so many people over the period of time. But I also want to take the opportunity to thank the people who come here every day to pack the hampers, to distribute the hampers, um, to be out there in a time of COVID when, you know, practicing social distancing and being safe. But I want to thank the team because they've been putting themselves on the line and making sacrifices for other people during this period. Stay safe and stay safe because it's real. Listen to the guidelines.